Hey guys, welcome back to another brand new video. In this one, we're going to talk about a new blockchain that goes by the name of Partesia. We're going to talk about their token as well, since I know we're all interested in investing in tokens and coins that has decent potential and has potential to generate good returns for us. But it is important to understand and learn about the underlying technology of the token or coin because that is the only way we'll be able to understand and determine the potential of the coin and how far it can go. So uh, with that in mind, we're going to talk details of Partizia blockchain. We're going to talk about their native token. We're going to see what this has to offer. What problem is this blockchain solving? Because we have seen that every new blockchain that is arriving offers something better. It offers solution to a problem that exists. So we're going to see what that is and how it is being solved. So uh, with this out of the way, we're going to get straight into it. But as always, this is not going to be an investment or a financial advice. So always do your own investigation and research. And with this out of the way, let's get right into it. Now, this is the official website of Partizia blockchain. You have tons of information about this blockchain and a lot of the information is pretty technical, uh, which may not be able to, you know, a lot of people may not be able to understand what it is. So I'm going to simplify most of these things for you. And this is where it starts. In simple words, what Partizia blockchain offers is that it allows users to compute all kinds of data while maintaining complete data privacy at rest, in transit, and in use. Now, what that means is we have web two platforms let's take facebook as an example it has our data which include our uh, preferences what we like to watch what products do we use where do we live our friends list our interests and all kinds of things it has data that it uses to tailor the advertisements for us now advertisements this is just one use case of our data it has a lot of other use cases which we're gonna uh, give you guys a list in a bit it is understandable that they use our data so that they can provide the content that we are interested in they provide us advertisements that we may be interested in and that is all good but because they are a central entity and our data it is being stored in a central server and it, basically in a single point that causes uh, concerns and chances of single point of failure that means wherever that data is stored if there's a breach there the data will be stolen it will be used by people who may not respect our privacy they will use our data to bombard us our email our contacts with i don't know whatever they want to bombard us with so that is a problem and that is what Partizia blockchain solves so since it is the blockchain technology so there's no single point of failure there's no single server or single place or location where the data is being stored it is being done on the blockchain now how it offers is uh, advanced multi-party computation also known as mpc to bring privacy to public blockchains now if you want to understand what multi-party computation is they have a whole video prepared on this topic which i'm going to link in the description so you can open it up and you can learn about it then we have scalability via built-in sharding at both the protocol and smart contract layer uh, the industry's most secure interoperable token and data bridge now this is where we get closer to talking about their token now we have all these features or benefits uh, of part easy blockchain which includes privacy and blockchains unlimited scalability um, it says bring your own coin it says use the token of your choice thanks for part easy blockchains collateralized token bridging this innovative approach combines double bookkeeping staking as collateral and large-scale mpc based selection uh, of oracle nodes and it is easy to use now this is where the use cases come for the parties your blockchain and these are actually the use cases of our data for the other media or tech giants so we have advertising uh, the most common one that we know for which our data is used 
then we have reuse credentials and kyc matching markets gaming healthcare BDC swapping, internet search, whistleblowing, demand uh, response, DNA sequencing, cross-chain, DeFi, and auctions. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not against the concept and idea of our data being used to tailor the advertisements or all these things. We do enjoy this. That is why we are more fond of the social media or these um, platforms because they tailor the content to us. They give us what we need. So that is all good. But the problem is when the, the data is leaked, when our privacy is invaded, that is a problem. And that is not something that can be solved in the Web2 platforms. But this is where Partesia comes in. Now, the reason why we're getting into detail, like I said, we need to understand the underlying technology, what the problem is, what the solution is. Is that problem concerning? Is that problem concerning a lot of people? And is that solution viable? Because that ensures that there will be adoption for this. And we know what adoption equals to. Adoption equals to more demand, and more demand equals to more value. And that is what we need to understand. That is what we need to um, focus on. Now, here we have some metrics of part of the blockchain. Now, do know this is new. It is, you know, um, starting. So it will be expanding further. And uh, these metrics, of course, they will be uh, expanding as well. So we have 101 global validators, um, almost 17 million total blocks, almost 10, uh, 11 actually, 11 million total transactions, and four total shards. You can meet their team, check out their partners, and this is where it says, let's get started. Now, what you can do here is, now this is where we get the instructions step by step on how to get started. I'm going to show you guys how you can buy the tokens or where you can buy the tokens you can also run a node and receive rewards for securing the network and uh, this is where we get most of the other news now we do have an airdrop that is an interesting and exciting opportunity and i'll give you guys more details on it um the token is listed on the coin market cap currently you can see it is performing pretty good and it's going to perform even well afterwards these are the tokens that actually enter the top 100 and top 10. If you open up the top 10, you'll see most of the coins are the native token of blockchains. So we know they have a huge, you know, uh, potential. And um, we have a market cap of 41.6 million. As a native token of a blockchain, this is very, very less. We have seen the um, native tokens of blockchains going in billions of dollars of market cap. So uh, comparing it to that point, to what it is now, I think there's a decent potential of returns. The 24 hour daily volume is actually pretty huge. It is $5.5 million. So again, that is absolutely huge. And it is performing pretty good. For now, people can generate decent returns from it if they are able to time their entry and exit. Now we do have another thing that is called the Mocha uh, by Partizio Blockchain. It says revolutionizing decentralized custody solutions. Now I do understand that a lot of these things are difficult to understand, pretty sophisticated and complicated, but I think that the conclusion here summarizes most of what we need to know about the Mocha. It says Partizio's blockchain, Mocha, emerges as a pioneer in custodial innovation, presenting a decentralized, fully programmable and blockchain agnostic custody solution with its revolutionary security features general decentralization and flexibility Mocha marks a transformative leap in the landscape of digital asset custody promising heightened security and efficiency for the evolving needs of institutions in the blockchain era so this basically is a use case and you can get more information about it from this video that we have here uh, again i'll link this in the description so you can learn more about it now let's talk about the airdrop program uh, for the mpc token that is the name of the native token i think i already mentioned it so what we have here is 25 million mpc tokens that are up for the airdrop and this is how you can enter it if you go down there uh currently the airdrop status it is live first what you need to do is you need to bridge to partesia blockchain because of course we're using other blockchains right now so we do need to you know bridge from those blockchains to this so go to the bridge the link is right here and you sign in then they have their whole guide on how you can install the mpc wallet um 
bridge your token with intract then deposit for stable coins you must approve first then deposit so you have the, all the instructions right here then you transact you hold onto these tokens and uh, it says interact with the ecosystem deploy contract using the app playground mint domain names on the meta names download web3 cookies and blockchain ads. so basically you need to engage and interact with it and you join the community on their discord there will be a channel there for the airdrop program and you follow them on all the social media that is you know what you need to do and that basically increases your chances of being picked in this airdrop now this is how you can get the mpc tokens right now they are listed on kucoin gate io we have their big more listing that is coming soon then we have it listed on bitfinex bitrue and the listing on the maxi global is coming soon now all these are very well recognized uh, exchanges and we have two of the you know top exchange listings that is coming soon so the token is already getting a decent exposure and when it gets listed on these exchanges and more exchanges to come this exposure is only going to increase leading to a higher market cap and eventually resulting in higher returns for the holders so you can choose to buy the mpc token from any of these exchanges these are the verified wallets where you can securely store your mpc tokens so we have the mpc wallet their own wallet then we have metamask snaps then we have mope that is coming soon and on the ledger we also have their staking program so you can earn rewards on top of your holdings and you can make a passive income out of it so i think that is another interesting opportunity but you can see that this whole project is a decent opportunity for returns not just in this cycle but even when we enter into a bear market these are the type of projects that survive that are able to sustain themselves because they are backed not just by hype but they're backed by decent utility and need so with that in mind i think this is an exciting and a decent opportunity for us to be able to earn and be part of something different and uh, innovative so if you want to learn more about it i'll give you guys all the links that'll be in the description you can ask me in the comment section anything that you want to ask and yeah uh, this is all of you guys in this video and i'll see you guys in the next one shortly so stay tuned